A serial killer who knew his victims. A mother who would stop at nothing to find the killer. Now, a never-before-seen prison interview with the killer. I touched him. So and the only surviving victim speaks out. 2020, new Friday on ABC. Troy Aikman, Joe Buck, they're the new team for ESPN's Monday Night Football. Now, Monday morning, they'll reveal one of the big matchups coming this season live. The exclusive is on. Now at 5, a horrific crash between a BMW and a semi. The breaking news out of South L.A. And police in Costa Mesa need your help tracking down a suspect. They say this man is accused of recording himself pepper spraying two women and harassing others as well. He is driving a very distinctive van. What you should be on the lookout for is that search continues. And a recent coyote attack on a young girl in Orange County raising new fears. How one local community is coming together to look for answers. Live from ABC7, this is I. Witness News. Good morning, I'm John Gregory. And I'm Rachel Brown. Thank you so much for joining us. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5 a.m. Let's start with the forecast. Tony Cabrera is here watching it for us. Well, yesterday was nice and warm. Today will be right on average. Okay. Mother's Day, Tony. Mother's Day. Temperatures right. are going to start dropping tomorrow, Mother's Day, and even more so Perfect. throughout the week. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys gotten the gifts, the flowers? My wife is not my mother. <laughs> <laughs> She t she's the one who told me that she wants her kids to buy her something. She okay. doesn't want me to get okay. her anything. She's your kid's okay. mother, though. Yeah, she said the kids are getting me something. Oh, okay. I'm staying out of it. <laughs> she, she doesn't want me to get her anything. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I will have to uh, go get some. I was with the flowers all day yesterday, but yeah. I want fresh ones. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. I'll, I'll, fresh ones. I'll get the wife some flowers anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yes, today's going to be just where we should be this time of year. There are those marine layer clouds, of course, the May gray that we're going to be starting with downtown LA. 60 degrees and we're looking down over Orange County we see it being 63 degrees so comfortable outside not too cool but there's those clouds and eventually they will dissipate and by about lunchtime we should be in the clear maybe some coastal spots there'll be clouds hanging along the coast uh, but for the most part it should be a just really nice day as you can see right here downtown LA warming up to about 73 degrees Orange County 77 IE and Valley spots will be some of the warmer spots at 81 degrees with plenty of sunshine beaches there's those clouds but 68 degrees this afternoon mountain 69 high desert some windy conditions warming up to 80 degrees we'll talk more about the Mother's Day forecast coming up soon Back to you. All right, Tony, thanks. We got breaking news out of South LA after this horrific crash between a big rig and a BMW. Ooh, look at this. Uh, the car ended up lodged under the semi truck after the collision on South Alameda. This is near East El Segundo. The crash happened a little before 11 last night. Incredibly, the BMW's trapped driver was rescued by firefighters. One person rushed to the hospital with unknown injuries. And an urgent search underway for a man who Costa Mesa police say has been targeting several women outside bars. Police say he has harassed the women and and assaulted some of them. Police are identifying that suspect as Johnny Long. They're asking for the public's help to find him. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica DeNova has the details. Stalking followed by vulgar, violent encounters targeting women outside nightclubs, bars, and fitness centers. At times, even attacking them with pepper spray. Get the Confrontations like this one last November earning Johnny Young a warrant for his arrest. Costa Mesa police say Young is behind the harassment and recordings, which he posts on several online platforms. In the videos, the suspect approaches women, talking about his genitals, asking to see theirs, and to engage with them sexually. The latest report coming this past April, three separate incidents in Costa Mesa in the area around Triangle Square. Then we were able to identify Mr. Young and see that he has um, uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of these confrontations on different uh, social media uh, sites. Police say among the charges the fugitive faces are six of hate crime. Lieutenant Ed Everett says Young has a prior arrest in Las Vegas accused of similar crimes and has since gone through the counties of L.A., San Diego, and Orange, likely in this van where he may be living. He calls that van his rape van. So, you know, again, that's also uh, alarming. It's concerning for us as well. Investigators say an interview posted on YouTube shines light on a possible motive for these unprovoked attacks. Lieutenant Everett says Young identifies as an incel or involuntary celibate. The recordings show Young unable to respect a woman's re